Hola, mi amores, ¿cómo están? My hair is so um, fluffy today. All right, so update time, right? So I have been making my room a room, and it's been very successful, and I feel very happy about it because now I have shelves <clears throat> and new artwork. Excuse me, I have, like, a little bit of, like, Hamminess because last night I went last night I went out and I went to Victoria Monet's album release party and it was so fun but I drank because my ass loves loves a good time. I really can't deny myself a good time. It's just sad. Um but my body literally I have been on this quest to understand myself in a very deep way this year. Um, it started off, I think, in my 26th year. I mean, this has been happening since 2019, if I'm being honest. Like, I think you guys have witnessed, like, this, like, kind of awakening within me of, like, getting um, to understanding my body and understanding myself on a spiritual level, like, deeper. And then sharing whatever I understand and come across and learn with you guys. <laughs> it's literally kind of been my process. Um, and this past year, I feel like I've been on a very internal journey, which is, I think, why maybe I feel a little absent or don't feel as consistent online or, or some or of that nature. But I've been trying to, like, get to the bottom of it and, like, figure out why is it that I feel so averted to online culture, you know? Because I, I also love being online, too, you know? Shit's funny. Things are really cool and informative like people make amazing content especially nowadays like there's so much talent and beautiful shit to watch and experience on top of all of the scary weird stuff that comes up as well you know um but I've really been in an internal place like on some hi I'm Lauren and I'm a human being on earth place you know and I'm not just um you know, an artist who's working to prove herself as something, you know, like, I feel like I've been working to prove for such a long time. And while I don't mind working to prove, like, I actually enjoy it. Uh, it's very motivating and inspiring, actually, when people don't see what you see in yourself, you know, um, it can be two things. It can be disheartening or it can be inspiring. And it used to be really fucking disheartening to me. I used to take it really, really personal. And taking it personal led me into all kinds of spirals about myself that just drove me further and further away from who I actually was or wanted to be, you know? So I feel like I lost my train of thought. God damn it. Why did this is happen to me? <laughs> um, but my point is, I've, I, I feel like I've been really diving into self this year and 27 like came in hot and I've been in this really deep space of observation and this all started because why am I congested right now because I drank alcohol because I know my ass and when I drink alcohol I get congested I have to make those choices I have to be like all right if I'm gonna drink tonight first of all it has to be gluten free because a bitch is gluten intolerant, which is dumb. Because I, I was just talking about Hawaiian rolls. Because I love Hawaiian rolls. You know what I mean? Like, I love things with gluten in them. So I'm, I'm a work in progress. I'm not perfect. But I'm in my process. And in my process, um, like, I just know this about myself. I know that if I drink, I'm going to get like this. <laughs> you know? Plus, I was in a club with a whole bunch of weed smoking going on. So, and obviously, I was partaking. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's why I woke up like this this morning. But then, you know, you do that, but then you have the hacks, right? So what do you do when you wake up? I had a coconut this morning. Electrolytes, hydration, you know? And then I had some sea moss and I had, I have a juice that I'm working on currently. And like, um, yeah, someone asked if Sasha was there. No, <laughs> no, Sasha let me. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Like, not actually left me, but physically left me. She's back in New York um, rehearsing again. 
so we won't see each other for a long time now. It sucks, but are any of y'all in long distance relationships or ever been in long distance relationships? Um, because I feel like I feel like her and I I, I don't know why I talk to y'all. Like, you're not going to put everything that I tell you on the internet. I talk to y'all like I'm talking to my bestie on the phone. But some of you bitches record what the hell is happening here and then post it on the internet out of context and I look crazy. <laughs> but anyways, my point is we're getting into long distance relationships. That shit is, um, it's kind of hard. But I also, I'm in this weird space right now. Because like I said, I'm diving internally in a lot of ways and going into my observation self and really like looking at my life from a higher perspective in such a sense where I'm not personally attached to my own contributions, the shame that I feel for my own contributions to my cycles continuing, right? Because I feel like in the process of awakening, like at first when you start waking up, you're like, fuck, this world is so fucked up. And it is, don't get me wrong. And then you're like, damn, my parents were so fucked up. My family is so fucked up. Just whatever it is that comes up for you. You know what I mean? Um, and then you're mad. And then you're like, fuck everybody. Like, how could you hurt me like this? I'm precious, but you don't believe that yet about yourself. You still believe deep down on the subconscious level because of all the programming, like you still believe you don't deserve peace and you don't believe that you deserve to take care of yourself and to like pour into yourself. And like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm also probably just talking for me or talking at people, but like, again, take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a new place where I'm like, damn, actually, I'm my biggest enemy. Like, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Like, that that song is so geniusly written because, like, the, le the layers of um, introspection that it takes to understand that and to come to that point in your maturity where you're like, wow this is my fault and not like on some not on some punish me shit though like not on some like oh my god it's my fault I'm such a terrible person I create my own issues because I went through that phase too that I went through the pity self-pity phase too which is like ah I just can't shift myself there's something wrong with me you know and to an extent, you know, yeah, valid trauma literally changes your brain and like the way that you um, experience the world and the shit that happens to you definitely like shapes the subconscious and those patterns and the reason why those things exist within you, you know? Um, but then, no, I'm like, I see this, but I'm not mad at myself anymore. I'm really proud of you. Like, you know that voice that talks to you when you make mistakes or even when you do something good and then they just tell you like, yeah, you did great, but like, look how much more you could do and look how much more you need to do. Like the voice that mirrors like society's insatiableness of, of productivity and what you should be giving them versus what you should be giving yourself, you know? But like that voice can shift. I'm in the point, I think, right now of like reparenting myself where I, the voice in my head doesn't get to be mean to me anymore. Like, there's no reason for you to be mean to me. I'm me. You're me. <laughs> You're me and I'm baby. What are you, who are you talking to? Like, why are you talking to, to me like that? Like, that's not even acceptable i would never allow anyone external to me to speak to me that way and let them stick around and have opinions about my life so why am i letting myself do that you know and then it's paralyzing sometimes um in the sense of decision making because you don't allow yourself to make choices because you're scared of every outcome um whether it's good or bad you know because it's there's no control involved. 
Yeah, someone said, I can't even choose what I'm having for dinner. Like, yeah, literally that happens to me sometimes. So where I'm hungry, I'm like, damn, I'm hungry. So then it's like, okay, I'm just going to put it off because I don't know what I want yet. And then I get really hungry. And then I'm like, okay, well, it's too, I'm too lazy to cook now because it's just going to take too long, even though it's like a shorter amount of time than delivery. But it doesn't take as much energy. So I'm just going to order food. Right? Like those choices. It's like little choices that just, so in my reparenting process, it's the, cho I'm, I'm just becoming hyper aware of choices and how uh, critical every single choice you make throughout your day is to contributing to your vibration, like your well-being, like whether or not you're in alignment, quote unquote, with yourself, you know? And it's every fucking choice. It's like choosing to wake up and be like, you know what? I'm grateful today and I feel clear and I I want I'm gonna have this kind of day today. And then going to your like this for me, this is my personal process, but like going to your altar and like actually giving up your worries and talking about them and like like you're talking to your bestie and like just letting them know what the heck you're feeling and from a genuine place and asking for help in the areas that you need help in and like allowing that guidance to like start your day like or for me from start my day that I already know that that's gonna set a tone for me so like on a reparenting purpose it's like I'm not gonna wake up and just like roll a joint and smoke weed like I might but on top of that, there's other elements into my life, you know what I mean? That are not going to keep me in a loop of mind thought, but keep me in a spiritually um, hygienic space and a like mentally hygienic space. Like when my brain starts to feel too clattered and like there's, there's too much going on at the same time, I've, I realized today, like I like making lists lists are my best friends i love a list i love a list because when when you're not looking at something and you're putting it away somewhere instead like i said a huge part of it is letting yourself feel it letting yourself feel it if you're sad if you're hurt if you're in pain if you're triggered whatever it is letting yourself like giving yourself the internal permission to feel that feeling feel that emotion without giving it to anybody else don't like not projecting it onto other people and feeling it by like giving it to somebody else, but feeling it out through our own energy. Like for me, sometimes when I get really, really anxious and I feel, first of all, something that really helps me breathing and finding it in my body. Like <laughs> where do I feel this feeling? Is it in my chest? Is it in my head? Is it in my stomach? Is it in my back? Where the hell do I feel this feeling? Right. This tension. And then one time, like, I was feeling so much anxiety and I couldn't get it out of my body and I couldn't smoke at that time because I, I had, like, taken that out of my equation because I'm, I'm in a back and forth always situation with that shit. And, um, but I wasn't smoking at the time and I was like, how the fuck am I going to deal with this? I, I just want to suppress it. I just want to put it somewhere. I don't want to look at it, you know? And then some inner voice was like, feel it, feel it, let yourself feel it. And I was like, I don't want it. And then, <laughs> and then I like turned on Beyonce, um, her song already. No, it was my power. It was my power. Off the Lion King. Oh, anytime that I'm feeling crazy, I put on the Lion King album that she made because that shit is spiritual fucking therapy. Okay. So I put that shit on and then I just let myself dance like just let my body move to the song and I shook my body and I tapped the place that I felt the weight of what I was feeling and I just let myself do that for 30 minutes like I literally sat there for 30 minutes until until I literally danced the shit out of my body like I just felt it leave me. And I don't know why we're like that, but we're somatic beings, like human beings. We, we, we our feelings are real um, energetic frequencies that come inside of us that elicit reactions from us. And then when you feel, when you, but when you let that shit just linger in your body, it's like, 
having toxins in your body and letting them swirl around and then not like detoxing them. You know what I mean? It's like, yes, the emotions are valid and real, like super valid and super real, but the only way to get rid of them or get through them is to get through them. Because if you get scared of them and you, when you're trying to confront them, you put them somewhere. See, like Alexis said, I box now at the gym. Like that's boxing <laughs> a great way to get rid of fucking anger. If you're mad all the time, or you feel anger or negativity is like constantly a part of your life, like, or frustration or lack of control, even sometimes like you feel like, you know, other people are in control of you. And so you don't even have the choices that you want to make. You can't make them like having little ways like that to get your anger out of your body is vital. Like I remember being pissed. I, I'm sure y'all remember me hitting the shit out of that pinata, like beating that pinata Oh my God. Fucking pulp because the amount of anger that I had in my body at that point in my that's why Sean took us out there to beat the pinata because he was like, we can't even rehearse. Like everybody is so fucking tense and so fucked up right now. Like we need to figure out how are we gonna channel it? You know what I mean? Like, because it's not productive in the room. So what are we gonna do with it? You need to do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it's gonna keep piling up and piling up and piling up wherever it is that you feel it in your heart in your chest in your womb wherever it is you know what i'm saying like it's gonna stay there until you do something about it until you move it until you breathe into it until you breathe out of it until you like give it love and stop trying to like punish yourself for feeling you feel me oh 